Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you my favorite 50p. So this is my favorite 50p. It's a Harry Potter Hogwarts 50p, which I received uh, for Christmas in my stocking, as one of my stocking presents. And this one, absolutely lovely. Bought it from the Royal Mint directly, I think. But I mean, you guys probably know what these are. Royal Men do like little packs where they give you the new 50p. Then inside, there's quite a lot of information about it. And it like folds out to be something quite large. So that is pretty cool. I'll read all this in a minute. But this is one of four Harry Potter 50ps. This one being one of two released in 2023. Like I said, this is the Hogwarts Castle one, with the front front design being the Hogwarts Castle. Uh, this is the brilliant and circulated edition. It's not the proof, and it's not the silver proof. It's just the £11 one that you can get on the Royal Mint. doesn't make a difference, though, because I, if you didn't know this, uh, I am a huge Harry Potter fan, and I'm a huge coin collector. So having two at the same time, I had to pick up at least one of these. And this is my favourite one anyway, so I've picked this one up. Uh, it's just the illustration on that is just very, very beautiful, honestly, just beautiful. So yeah, on the front it says the Royal Mint, the original maker, which is the Royal Mint slogan, the original maker. And we go at the bottom, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stones celebrating, <laughs> Philosopher's Stone celebrating 25 years of magic. And if I can get the angle right, it should be like a lightning bolt there, you can see that. And then when you turn it the other way, it should be like a 25... Oh, it's just like another security feature on the coin. Very lovely. And when you open it up, uh, there's the back of the coin there. Uh, with the Martin Jennings portrait of Charles III. So, very, very beautiful. You know, it's a, it's a standard one to me, but I do like the portrait of Charles III. Uh, and here's a motto. Draco Dormiens Nuncam Titulandus. Which um, translates from Latin to English as never tickle a sleeping dragon, which is the Hogwarts school motto. There we go. 25 years of Harry Potter magic there. So, get another one of them. So, when you open it up, it says 25 years of magic. The idea for Harry Potter first came to J.K. Rowling during a delayed train journey from Manchester to London. From that moment of magic, the boy who lived was imagined into being an unassuming 11-year-old hero destined to face terrible danger, but also find greatness within himself. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was published by Bloomsbury Children's Books in 1997 and continues to inspire a love of reading in countless young people all over the world. So that's quite nice. About the illustrator, Jim Kay won the Kate Greenaway Medal in 2012 for his illustrations in A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. He studied illustration at the University of Westminster and has worked in the library and archives of Tate Britain and as an assistant curator at the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew. Jim has also produced concept work for film and television and contributed to the group exhibition Memory Palace at London's v &A Museum. The illustrated edition of the Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone was published by Bloomsbury to international acclaim. Okay, and about the author, J.K. Rowling is the author of seven Harry Potter books, which have sold over 600 million copies, been translated into 85 languages, and made into eight blockbuster films. She has also written three short companion volumes for charity and co-wrote the original stage play, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. J.K. Rowling has received many awards and honours and supports a number of humanitarian causes through her charitable trust, Volunt, and her children's charity, Lumos. Now, if you guys didn't know, Lumos is a spell in Harry Potter, which basically means light. It'll turn light out of your wand. I know this because I'm, like I said, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. So I know that kind of thing. Um, all in all, it's, you know, it's a very beautiful, uh, just flap over. It's a very, very beautiful pack. Uh, if you do like a certain genre of 50p, I'd say if you're a Harry, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you haven't got one of these already, I'd go and pick one up because they're, Lovely, and then it's a back as well, which I forgot to do. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Uh, that's the same thing I was talking about, the Bloomsbury stuff. And coin specifications. So its denomination is 50p. Issuing authority is United Kingdom. Alloy is Cupro Nickel. So not any rare metals or anything. Still nice. I don't really care about the metals. I do if it's a self-proof, but because it's Harry Potter, I don't really care. Um, 
It's weight 8.00 grams, so basically just 8 grams. Diameter 27.30 millimeters. Obverse designer Martin Jennings, like I said. And the reverse designer is Fionn Gwillem. I think it's a Welsh name. If you know how to pronounce it, you know, tell me down below. So that'd, that'd, that'd help me out. And the illustrator is Jim K. Quality, brilliant and circulated, like I said. It's a lovely little pack I've got here. I hope you've enjoyed me sharing it with you. Uh, if you have, make sure to like and subscribe. Like I said, comment if you've got any uh, 50p blister packs or packs like that. Because uh, I know, for example, last year, the stack collector opened a lot of 50p packs. So I watched quite a lot of like, dinosaur 50p and stuff like that. Very good content. But like I said, if you've got any packs, comment down below. And if you're a YouTuber, maybe make a video about your 50p packs. I'd be, you know, I'd be more than happy to have a look at what you got. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye, guys.